Hey everyone, this is going to be part of my weekly product hunt app video. And essentially, I'll just be picking a, not random, but an actual um, product that was launched and one that I have used for the week prior and uh, show you guys kind of like how it works um, and also kind of just my thoughts on it as well. The one that I picked for this week is actually called Sheet to Site. And essentially, it just generates you a website from Google Sheets. So when I first saw this, I was like, wait, but how, right? Um, but it's actually all done in the back end, just connection from an API kind of, kind of like link between uh, Google Sheets and um, the API that the creator um, created. So essentially, as you can see here, what it'll do, it'll generate you a site that looks like this. They all have pretty much the same layout and template, um, usually just a really big cover photo on the top, uh, a couple of different filter options, you can, as you can see here, and then um, just a ton of different thumbnails with a text, um, uh, just text over it to kind of give the, the surfer a quick view as to what they're about to click on. And if you just scroll here, I'll leave a link to the product time page down below, but if you just keep scrolling through the pictures, you'll notice they're all very, very similar in design. This actual um, product was launched by Andre Asimov, and he has a pretty cool story. He actually quit his job uh, earlier this year of 2018 to kind of pursue uh, launching products, which is actually really interesting. So, as you can see here, he has a little like article on Medium, kind of like why he did it and how much he's making per month and all that stuff. So, um, essentially, he this layout, if you guys know about levels.io, um, and he actually commented, so Peter Levels, um, he actually runs a site called Remote, I think it's like Remote OK or Remote.io or something, essentially just lists a bunch of jobs out, and the layout is actually inspired uh, by the Peter's job site. So the Andre guy kind of took this design and essentially made it a really, made it a way for people who didn't really know how to code to make their own site just like Peter's. So what you can do, I'll leave a link to the site as well down below, but you just pretty much go to sheet2site.com and that is the site right here. You'll It'll tell you a little bit of information about what it is and what, how to do this, no coding necessary as you can see. Um, and also if you wanna add your custom domain, it costs a little more, but I'm gonna show you the basics of it, just a free demo. Um, I will know, um, I think this is a really cool kind of like concept and idea, especially for people that don't know how to code and also takes you away from having to use like space, Squarespace or Wix.com or anything like that where you actually have to pay. I do kind of recommend this to people that don't really know how to code. Um, and you kind of just want to get a quick website up, whether it be for a school project, an interview, um, maybe to sh showcase your, your coding projects, whatever it is, it's a really, just a really simple way to do it. And even if you don't, if you already know how to code, I would still find ways. I'm pretty sure there's still ways that you can still use this, um, this concept right here. Um, and I will note as well that, um, it's all running via Google Sheets. So if you don't have a Gmail account, create one, it's free. And that way you can access Google Sheets and start working around with this. So. The kind of sites that you can make with this, so it's essentially grid style sites. So if you want to do a list of cities, events, um, cryptocurrencies, you can uh, link to your projects to other pages. Um, you can maybe create kind of like a Pinterest kind of page where all these are products and you link that over to the product page um, and maybe you get some sort of commission back. So different things like that, you can kind of play around with this to best fit your needs. Right here, it's going to give you kind of the step-by-step -step run through. It's really, really simple. So what you want to do is come to the site. You're going to scroll down to the bottom. You're going to make a copy of the sheet template that he places here. So as you can see here, I already have my own copy of sheet. Um, you're going to then copy that Google Sheets URL from your browser and paste it in this little text box that he placed here. So I would essentially just go here. I would copy this and then paste it here. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again, but um, you would do that. Um, then once that happens, you can go back to the sheet, open the file menu, uh, essentially clicking on publish to web, which you can do by going here, clicking file, and then publish to web. Once you click publish, so once you click this publish button, uh, we just come back, click generate, and what'll happen is that this site will open up for you. So as you can see here, it's she2site.com, and then it's 
API specific. So it creates a key for you. This is unique to your, um, to your Gmail account, I believe, uh, this way that this way only you can access it. And this is your site essentially. So the cool part and the nitty gritty part is actually kind of tailoring it to what you want. So as you can see here, um, the first tab is going to create, it's going to be for your content. So you can, um, kind of list out the different, um, these are the kind of the different thumbs that you want to show up on the site. So right now I have uh, the title, you can then have a description text or number. So I just, what I'm doing is most read books. So you can see here. Um, so what I did, I did the title of Crucial Conversations, which is a book, and then I put a price for it. And um, then you can link. So if somebody clicks on this, where do you want them to go? I want them to go to Amazon so they can buy the book. That's right here. And, um, and then you can actually add an image, which I haven't changed, but you can just put an image. Maybe I would put an image to the book, right? So it's a little bit more identifiable. Um, and then you would have um, a small text. So you can actually leave us empty, but I just kind of tagged it as self-help, like a self-help book. And then you can also put a small text too. Um, and a filtering. So you can filter, I'm going to show you guys a filter page, um, but you can just create different filters. And if somebody clicks on a filter here, it'll just only show them this book, right? So I have Twilight is not fun book, self-help book, this, this category. Then I'll see all of them. Obviously you would click, click all, and then you can see all of your um, thumbnails for that. So it's really, really simple to use. Um, I really like it. Um, I might not use it like for anything huge, but I think to get like a really quick site out there um, for people to just look at for whatever it is, a presentation, interview, um, whatever it is, um, really simple way to do this. And so I'm going to show you on the main page, this is it's going to handle all of your titles. So um, this header right here, um, your subtext. Um, a button. It's also going to handle uh, different colors or different CSS CSS heights and widths if you want to use that. And um, you can also add a link to your call to action button, which is this one right here. You can change the tab name up here as well. Um, and then quickly show you guys filters and filters. You can put as much, many as you want here, I believe. Um, you can also add little emojis if you wanted to, to make it a little bit more fun. Um, and I believe if you click this off, then it'll disappear. Yeah. So you can choose to have them or not to have them. I would just keep them on cause I mean, it's, I think it's pretty cool and it adds a little bit more user interactivity with the site. So it's not so flat and boring. Um, this makes it a little bit fun. You can just click around. It's essentially it. Um, you have access to handle pretty much everything on this site. And if I wanted to, I could just copy this link, share it with people and they can kind of check out my favorite books. And, um, I would just play around with it. I think it's a really, really awesome concept. Um, you don't have to worry about like a bloat either. You're just worrying about, I want to put out this content with this text and this image. I want to maybe change up this information to make it a little bit more appealing. And then I want to add some filters. So it's very, very, very simple. Um, nothing too crazy or too advanced. You're just plugging in things here definitely check this out. I highly recommend this. Even if you already know how to code, just try it out. I think it's a really, I, I just, I, it's a really, really neat concept. So really big props to Andre, who was the person that um, created this kind of format and this site um, generator. So props to him. It's gotten uh, a thousand plus upvote, upvotes on Product Hunt and it's uh, number three number three product of the week uh, for March 21st. So that's awesome. So yeah, so it is called sheet2site.com. Links will be down below. If you try it out, let me know what you think. And I would love if you guys um, do try this out, leave a link to the site that you created down below. I'll leave a link to mine. Mine is really simple, but um, I think it's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And if you guys have any questions or anything about Sheet2Site, let me know down below. Please make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you liked this content. Um, I will be putting out another video on a new product next week. So I'm gonna do these weekly. I think it keeps me kind of in the know about what's out there and also hopefully you guys in the know about what is being released in the product world. See you guys in the next one.